Hello everyone, welcome back for a new strategies video. Today I want to make another tutorial about the clock, how to manage the clock. This is something that when you are a newcomer or beginner you shouldn't care so much about, uh, but when you start getting uh, intermediate, high level and you play tournaments, it's something you really need to consider. So let's make just a reminder about how the clock system works on um, on a Stratego game, on a Stratego tournament, and uh, how to to play with it. So actually we have three types of timers, right? The first one is the time you have per move. Um, it can vary on uh, Strategos, we have different um, game modes, so based on the ones you want, you can be fast, slow or extended. So if you choose fast, I think it's 2 seconds per move, if it's slow, I think it's 4 of, or even 5 seconds per move, and if it's extended, it's even, uh, even more. Um, when you start, it can look extremely short time, um, but it actually is perfectly fine. Um, the second thing, the second type of clock that one may have is the uh, buffer. So what is the buffer? It's the overall timer that you have. Once this buffer goes to zero, it, um, it makes you uh, get a forfeit or loss. Um, so basically you have, let's say, 5 seconds per move, you make your move, but you need some more time to think, to guess and so on. And you have some precise time, let's say 10 minutes, to think. But when these 10 minutes are over, you will, um, you will uh, lose. And the last timer that one has, it's, it's not appearing when you play ranked games. It's called the countdown. The countdown is the limit uh, that you have to win a game. So if in a ranked game there is no countdown, it means that a game te can technically last even 20 hours, unless uh, until someone wins or until um, the players agree on a draw. In a tournament, because of live settings, when you have to play one game after the other, you can't um, let people play at Vita Meternam. So, what happens is that uh, there is a one hour countdown usually, and if by the end of this time people, uh, no, no player managed to win, then the game results in a draw. Now the problem, or problem, let's say, the issue that some um, people have is that uh, by playing with the buffer on your side, you can force a draw. So let's imagine you have a 15 minutes buffer time, which is usually, or 16 minutes buffer time, which is usually what you have in a tournament game. And uh, after 50 minutes of the game, so there are still 10 minutes of uh, countdown, right? But you still have 15 minutes of your buffer. What happens? Your buffer is longer than the time remaining on the countdown. So you could decide as a player not to move anymore and to force a draw this way. So some players have the concern that people will start getting playing extremely slow to guarantee a draw against players they think they can't beat, right? So there is a huge debate like, is it good, is it bad? I think there is positive and negative on both sides. On the one hand, um, I think a draw is not necessarily a bad thing. Instead, it forces a good player to play much more actively, and if we go back at the five phases I identified in the previous video, it forces players to go straight to first attack and then move to the second attack without having this reorganization phase lasting too long. Um, for other players, it's, um, it's annoying because they want to have a full game, they don't want the game to end up in a draw, they want to have even two, three, four hours to play the game until the end, and the real end. Um, now, there has been a debate in the community, uh, especially from players, let's say, who are online made, so who are not used to play live tournaments, who would like um, the countdown to be increased or even deleted. I know just of one tournament where the countdown was increased to 70 minutes instead of one hour, so that was giving 10 extra minutes of games and reducing the, um, the amount of draws. Uh, some even want more, some say it's fine as it is. I'm personally of the opinion that it's 
I don't really care. Like we could uh, make it longer, but I think it's good to have a sort of standardization between online and live. Uh, that's just my guess, and that's how I run my tournaments. But uh, of course, if the community ends up saying no, we want it to be longer. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with uh, increasing it. However, uh, increasing it, uh, I wouldn't do this at up to two hours or to three hours or something like that. I would just increase it of 10, 15 minutes maybe. Um, because online with the time zone difference, one also needs to uh, consider that one may be playing extremely late or extremely early uh, or maybe playing during a break at work and so on. So I just want to make things possible uh, online for everyone and I think it's all a matter of compromise. Now this, uh, this is just the introduction so you understand uh, what's the problem of, uh, of the clock and how it works. I want to, uh, you to understand also how to play with the clock like as I said in the first part of the video the clock is a sort of enemy but it can also be a very good friend especially if you're in a trouble and um, that's why I recommend for example when you see that you're about to lose or you don't feel confident you want to guarantee a draw um, to start playing every four seconds usually you have four seconds per move so you take the whole time you have um, available and um, this like waste the time of the countdown and that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is play extremely slow with the um, two square rule. So you make all the three moves on the two squares and again you will win a lot of time. And with this you can quite safely guarantee a draw. Um, now of course this may look a bit like unsportive uh, not nice, especially like you know you are losing, so you make the game getting extremely boring, extremely slow, and that's maybe not enjoyable. I would say that in a tournament, that's part of the game because if you are competitive, and I think one who plays a tournament, of course, must be there for fun, but you must be willing to win in the end, right? Or you must be willing to do his best. So. Uh, of course you don't want to lose and um, anything which is allowed is a weapon that you have available to um, to get at least the draw which is still three points usually so that's what I would uh, say at it, as it is now of course uh, if you start right from the first minute playing extremely boring well it's a strategy it's fine uh, just not the nicest thing to do right um on the other hand yeah if the countdown was to increase i think this kind of play would in the end be useless and good player will always perform better uh but sometimes having a draw is what makes it makes it also very very good um that's almost it i wanted to say um still one thing about the um, the clock i think uh, you need to check it quite regularly, especially check if you have more or less time than your opponent. One thing I like to do is when my opponent has just uh, less than one minute of, um, of buffer time, I really like to put him in trouble situation where he has to make a choice and he is forced, or at least reasonably forced, to take more time to think about the possible consequences of his uh, choice and therefore the um, countdown decreases and even goes to zero. Again, that's not the best way to win, I admit, but from a competitive point of view it's within the rules and that's perfectly fine. So check your timers because you don't want to lose because of time, you want your opponent to lose, either that's by time or because you were better, that's perfectly fine, and um, then check regularly also the countdown just to know if you can afford attacking uh, and if you attack and you fail can you guarantee a draw in the end um now i've been discussing a lot about draws uh are draws good no of course you prefer win and actually it's better to have one win and one loss than two draws because one win one loss is seven points two draws is six points um but still depending on who you are playing against, a draw is extremely good result and I would definitely aim at it um, if I can't win the game. 
Right, hope this insight about how the clock works uh, was useful to you and uh, see you soon for the next video. Thank you so much.